Bravery in front of a friend is a virtue that serves us well today, but it is so difficult. On the one hand, among acquaintances, as well as in the media, we often only hear spiteful, even damning criticism. On the other hand, we can become simply completely silent because we don't want to inf interfere with another's business and we're afraid of confrontation. But both attitudes are obviously inappropriate, both avoiding direct contact with another in need. Shouldn't there be a third way between loud reproachful gossip and fearful silence? We read in the Bible how to deal with the proper criticism of a brother. St. Paul generally recommends compassion and encouragement. St. Matthew recommends that if your brother sins, talk to him in private. But if he does not listen to you, then take others, because everything should be decided on the testimony of two or three witnesses. And if he does not even listen to them, then go to the church. Only in the third instance when we reference the church is the appeal to the public at it. This is a much fairer and more obvious way for us when dignity and friendship may be at stake. This is a form of bravery, for we never know how another will react. Perhaps a refusal or attack on us because of the shame or embarrassment they feel. But if we want our criticism to arrive correctly and pave the way for needed change, sometimes it must be that we bravely speak out, risking all, so that perhaps sometime years later from the bottom of their heart, that individual may finally say another rare word to you, thank you.